So here's the thing. I mean, we've spent, what, forever trying to work out how to solve illegal immigration. I know it's right up there, probably number one on the things we talk about. Mostly those people who float across the channel in small boats. Not that small, by the way, but you get the idea. So, do you remember Sajid Javid, the Home Secretary? He gave it a go. Remember, he was going to send in the cutters and the drones. Nothing happened. And then, of course, we have Priti Patel in the driving seat. She got very animated about it. This must stop, she said many, many times. She was on a bit of a mission. It came to nothing. So, well, a Braverman pitched up. She was really annoyed. If anyone was going to make this thing stop, it was our Soella, surely. Tough and no nonsense. She was apoplectic, but nothing happened. James Cleverly, remember him? He gave it a go. I will not sleep until this is sorted, he said with all the vigour and anger of a sloth. Nothing happened. So there we were thinking, well, this thing clearly cannot be solved. Yet little did, little did we know that there was an answer. A political figure so rare in towering intellect and wisdom that we hadn't even noticed they were there. But they were, waiting in the wings to make things better. Finally, getting to grips with the vexed question of migration. Yes, step forward, Yvette Cooper, the right honourable member for Pontefract and our current Home Secretary. She's only gone and done it. Hurrah! Hallelujah! Eureka! All of that, yeah. Yvette Cooper has pledged to detain more illegal migrants and carry out a record number of deportations. She will expand immigration detention centres, something very much Labour were against half an hour ago. This is part of the plan to remove more than 14,500 illegal migrants in the next six months. This is a higher rate than at any time since 2018, when Theresa May was Prime Minister. 2018 was a very bad year, by the way, for deportations. Nearly 300 extra places are to be created in two immigration removal centres, sorry, controversial immigration removal centres, where illegal migrants and foreign criminals are detained before they are deported. Now, I don't think 300 is necessarily going to make a difference. Uh, but there are 300 also, but they love the number 300. 300 home, home office caseworkers have already been redeployed since the election to track down, detain and return illegal migrants. It's a bit like so many of these stories about him. It's like, look over there. Oh, it's happening over here. Oh, over here. No, over there. Well, I'm looking over there. No, it's over here. It, 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 hang on. So what? It, it, we've got the deportation centre. What about the people crossing in the boats, etc.? Is this a start of something new? They've got 100 new specialist intelligence officers and investigators being recruited to the National Crime Agency, the NCA, that's like the FBI, but over here, to work with European agencies in targeting people smuggling gangs. Uh, spoiler alert, that's already massively illegal. It's high organised crime and most countries in Europe are already on it. Here's the killer line, by the way. This is an absolute belter, this. Labour sources have claimed that efforts to stem... Ch Are you ready for this? I hope you're sitting down. Labour sources have claimed that efforts to stem channel crossings are already starting to have an impact, with fewer migrants reaching British shores in small boats in the six weeks since the election than in the same period last year and in 2022. Uh, are they for... Right, OK, so in six weeks, they are claiming... That the mere presence of being there has reduced the number. But the number is about half a dozen different. Is there no beginning to their talents over there at Labour HQ? But I'm going to be fair here. Let me throw out the question. Can Labour finally solve the migration crisis? Is that even possible that Labour could, in fact, do it? What do you think? My problem is, is that they're going to come to a deal whereby they accept more migrants from Europe and might deport slightly more than had previously been deported, so they can claim that overall deportation is massively up and the migrants they accept from Europe will not be seen as illegal migrants, so they can claim job done. It'll be something like that. Some, something of that order is the way I see this one coming.